Tim, welcome back. Hey, Ben. <laughs> did you miss me? I did. I absolutely did. Though TJ did a rocking job. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday. My name is Ben. I'm Tim. Not TJ. Though TJ did, like I said, did a wonderful job in our last video. Um, we're rocking the, um, what are they called? Cough drops? Yeah. Hales is, or Halls has not sponsored us, but um, <laughs> they've not sponsored us, but hey, why do, we are sponsored. Ace has sponsored us. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to another Tech Tuesday episode. We are going to jump into another round of questiones. Um, big... Uh, I don't know. Big stuff coming in the brand new year. Um, yeah, I hope you all had a wonderful new year. All right. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, question one. Someone has this ID. <laughs> it says, can the 5th gen uh, 2010 Camaro SS pedal be used with the jackpot drive by wire? Or does it only work with a CTS pedal? I haven't tried the plug, but wondering if the TPS is different, if it does fit. Well, the TPSs can be different from pedal to pedal. There's this whole range thing, how it's mm -hmm. built, this, that, and the other. Some are used emulated IC chips. Some are using true TPS sensors internally. Um, but, you know, I prefer the one from, like, the 04 CTS. It seems to be the most stable, pro less problematic I've had some other ones that do plug in and do work, but then they don't work, and then they do work, and so on and so forth. But that's something that later we're going to have a whole have a whole bunch of different calibrations for different pedals, mm. because um, you know sometimes if it says twenty percent on your pedal, it'll say forty percent on your TPS and do some weird stuff. Mm. So I'll just stick with the CTS pedal for now until we actually get a whole massive yeah. list of ones that are like we've tested all these; they're all great. Here's different calibrations. Yep. Yeah. Um, that was perfect. Um, do we have a time frame for that, timeline for that? No. No. Okay. Because the, the only reason why I ask that is usually some of those things are usually like in the relatively near future. But this, with everything that's kind of happening at the beginning of this year, I I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when we're going to sit down and start planning out different pedals um, to use with the jackpot system, that's... especially with like – Jackpot Coyote and Jackpot Hemi and stuff like that. They're probably just going to stay pretty standard. I do got some list of ones that work with aftermarket systems, but you know, generally on GM, there's like there's just the one mm -hmm. last three part number is like 038. Yep. But I've had the best luck out of that. Sometimes you get a bad one mm -hmm. right out the box, and it makes it kind of gives you a headache. But yep. you know, because it's it's a bit of an investment. You got to spend a couple hundred bucks on them things. Yep. Dan Meyer two six eight. Mm -hmm. The two blue lights and red flashing light I was referring to are on the USB side of the CAN bus cable, not the ECU. Mm. I think there was a miscommunication between the software and the ECU. Mm. Dan Meyer was a question that we answered in our last Tech Tuesday video um, on the flashing lights. Yeah. And so um, I think TJ answered that question um, but had a – I guess he was. Oh, Dan, bus, Dan. bus driver over here. It's yeah. all TJ's fault, apparently. No, but, uh, hold on. Also, you guys never use a tuning cable, so you wouldn't know. Yeah, the tuning cable has two indicators on it, two blue light indicators, and one red for communication, saying that, you know, state ready, state communicating, whatever. But if. You're just going to throw me under the bus. Like yeah, that. yeah. I, I do have a CDL. I um, have. Well, okay. I we just didn't realize he was talking about the tuning cable. Well, it's not common stuff to you guys. I mean, you don't really get into that kind of thing. I knew so. the tuning cable did that. Yeah. Unbelievable. Which tuning cable? There's three different types. Wow, that's rough, isn't it? Yeah, it was rough. Yeah. But nevertheless, the commonly available one to our customers <laughs> that work with our systems, it's going to have one LED... <laughs> Indicating that it's plugged into the ECU, it'll be on the ECU side. One that'll be indicating that it's plugged into the computer. And a red one indicating there is communication. Um, so, yeah. That's them lights. Sometimes I forget that I'm not the technician. But 
It's all right. I know some things. That's good. There's some things that I know. Did you know on the ECU it had flashing butt lights as well? It does. Yep. You know what they They're are. red and blue. You know what they are? They're there for sure. There's a couple more inside mm-hmm. of it too. There's lights inside the ECU? There is. That you, know, that you don't see? No, you don't need to see them. It's this internal stuff. So I knew that, totally. Um, Cody Day 8959 says, Is there a way that aces can show how to wire up a double wire up double fans with relays in a video? Yeah, we could probably do that at some yeah, point. Yeah, we can do that. We could, there, we could do it on a car. Or I could just, like, mm, uh, zip screw a whole bunch of stuff yeah. to a sheet of plywood and throw a mm. motorcycle battery at it. Or, if you want, Cody, one thing that you can do is just call the customer service line, and they will send you an email of some uh, fan relay uh, wire hookups. So yeah, you, you can just see. actually just, yeah, just email them. Yep. It'll be fine. Yep. And you can see that as well. But, yeah, well, that's something we can do for sure. Jammy. Sprawled it in. Five oh four, Jammy, 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 Jammy. <laughs> uh, would the tuber work on a VW engine? Yeah, it just, should. It's fuel into it. You just mm-hmm. need to find a way to get RPM signal to it. Um, well, that's a lot of words. Yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, some people replied to it, but a lot of stuff. Um, not not a fan of the potential using it on an aircraft. That's a whole lot of stuff. We're not going to support. Wait, what? Don't don't worry about it. You'll see this every once in a while. See what on a plane? Well, you got to think a horizontally opposed flat four air cooled engine is the same thing on my Cessna. Just it's not a Volkswagen motor, but it's in like in the same design. Red line at twenty four hundred RPMs. A Volkswagen distributor from would, Aces would hook up with a freaking plane. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't use it on an airplane. I would on an airplane. I would literally just stick carbureted on that thing. It's uh, smooth, easy, safe. Wait, there's, why? There's, there's a lot of uh, people do all kinds of experimental stuff. There's a whole experimental category of aircraft called experimentals. You know, most but, military aircraft are experimentals. Well, yeah, but I'm just why not use EFI on an air? air well, well, first of all. <laughs> we don't make we don't put our stuff on airplanes, <laughs> but um, why couldn't you use uh, Deuces Wild on an airplane if you're going to use a carburetor? Well, if it's if it's like on the like home, we know our Continental engine, the carburetor's on the bottom of the motor. Hmm. I see. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Um, I was using a VW motor; it's going to be on top, and that's it's you know if you purchase the thing, it's up to you to do what you want to with it. But it's nothing that I personally am all about. <laughs> I, mean, I can remember, only imagine that tech from, call. A, I've had two of those tech calls. <laughs> so uh, it's just, you know, when they mention airplane, I just like, you know, you got to give the statement like we do not support wait, this in wait, any way. At all. At all. I can't even tell you how to hook it up. Do I know how to? Yeah. Am I going to tell you? Nah. I didn't even. That's. I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't even know that was a thing that we did. I mean, we don't do. We don't do, we don't do it. That, that's not. That's something we do not do. Well, but we'll work on two barrel work on a Volkswagen. Yeah, there's a few Volkswagen yes. guys out there. The the tricky part is getting the uh, the coolant temp sensor to read what the the temperature of the motor is. So there's that. But for but all we have others, a Volkswagen distributor, right? So yeah, but the the temp sensor it's a, it's not a water cooled engine. It's air cooled. So how are you going to get a coolant temp sensor? Mm. Uh, you have to get some kind of block temp sensor. But as long as it plugs in or there's some kind of adapter to actually f- read what the casing temperature or oil, you can actually use oil temperature yeah. on that. I, I just, use the same sensor. but I just figured that since we sold the actual distributor, it would work with a Volkswagen. Yeah, it ought to work pretty good. Mm-hmm. 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 Big bug <laughs> hyphen 6900. How can I go back to learning part of the jackpot system? Reason being, I went into my system and screwed up some things. Mm. It was running great before, mm-hmm. and I'd like to go through the setup wizard and start over again. And, yeah, it just wants to reset it. That's cool. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, 
hit the button, go to go to system, go to ECU update. Everything that's in the handheld already, you can just up, yeah. reflash it back to the stock, you know, back to zero, run the wizard again and start over. Yep. Pretty easy. It takes about three minutes to do. Yep. Yep. Uh, so no worries there. It People do that. They'll go through and they'll start fiddling with some stuff and forget what they were doing yep. or forget what they adjusted. And then they got to try to figure that out. And they're just like, it's easier just to reset the thing and be like, don't do that one again. Yep. Yep. That or just reflash the system. Um, I like reflashing it. I think we talked about this in a previous episode. You oh, like just the, so, the simple one. You can do it with the uh, either reflashing the system um, or doing it the way Tim said by going into uh, just that uh, ECU upgrade um, menu and then just running through that program and rerunning the Star Wizard. So, But you're going to do that if you're going to reflash the system anyway. So, Ton Dodderer. 24 says use a two barrel and make an adapter for the one barrel. Oh, nah, no. Then, then you just run into some, yeah, that's, that's tricky. So would that be, you just put a deuces wild on it with one barrel actually where you're just going to really take a two barrel. That's a roughly 500 CFM. It'll support up 350 horsepower and really going to choke that thing down. Yeah, it'll idle and run, but you're going to have to really, really mess with all yeah. the fuel maps and custom tuning yeah. and stuff to even – it'd be a headache. Um, it's probably we have, a, the... we have a competitor that makes a pretty solid one-barrel setup. We may do a one-barrel at some point, but there's not, not enough the market future. In, Not enough market to do it. We'd, have, you know, we'd invest a million dollars and sell 100 of them in a year, maybe. Maybe. Nice. But if it happens, we'll name it something real slick. Snake Eye. No, I want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I did it, I'd I'd probably put it on an old dirt bike or something. That'd be kind of yeah, cool. yeah. Get into the dirt bike industry, the motorcycle industry, the one barrel <laughs> EFI. Dude, you could sell more single barrel um, setups for motorcycles than you can cars. Really? Mm-hmm. But do they do the EFI on motorcycles? Like aftermarket EFI on motorcycles? Not, not, not too much that I'm aware of. There's yeah. a lot of people doing like real custom mega squirt, micro squirt stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I know like the world's fastest high boost is running on one of our competitor setups. Uh, and it's it's great. They did a great job on that one. A lot of really, really cool stuff going on there. But, you know, are we going to get into that stuff? Probably not. Um. Alonzo Church, uh, 3778, says, Does the Royal Flush support your fuel pressure sensor kit? I cannot find out how to add fuel pressure to my 7-inch dash. Nate, um, that one might have got missed with the software. I'll have to double-check on that. But if it's not in there, I'll just got to send a pretty good email up yeah. the chain and one of the next versions, they'll, just, they'll have it pop in there and be like, Hey, you can do this now. Yeah, I as far as... I mean, I feel like I, maybe I've said this before, but all you're doing is you go to the settings uh, or you go into the menu button, you go to monitor and gauges and home setup, and it should just be fuel pressure or yeah, FPS. Yeah, FPS. If it's in there, it's in there. Um, right? I, think I thought the that Royal was the only Flush, thing. I don't think the Royal Flush actually has it. Everything else is there. Everybody, uh, Every other system is there. I think the Royal Flush was one that might have got skipped. Not for any kind of malicious reasons other than the fact that We've got a lot of systems to copy and paste the code in and then manipulate the code to make sure it works with every variant because each individual system has its yeah. own can ID and its own proprietary thing going on. So sometimes yeah. it may be in there, just not active. Yeah. Just like our fuel level sending unit stuff. It's in there. It's just not active. We have to test it, and then we can just turn it on for the people because mm. we do this for the people. Oh, I didn't say that Adam. yet. Adam. Ugh. For the people. Nice. I want to go over with some tuning software. Tree Bar Rescue. Holler at me. And talk <laughs> about some tuning stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, he's a sponsor for us, so if you want, I can just give you his information. <laughs> um. <laughs> that would be helpful, no? Can you run a flex fuel sensor on Ace's Jackpot coming from north? West Suburbs 20. Mm. Not yet. That's a future thing. Flex fuel sensor. Flex fuel sensor. Yep. 
the text alcohol content and then offset all, all the fuel stuff. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing we're kind of looking in. We actually went and pulled the research funding from that and then put it into our trans control module because more people was yeah. honestly interested in it. But now that the trans stuff is coming to an end, you know, that is a project that's that's uh, we're starting to look into because we already did a lot of research into it and we've made some prototypes and whatnot, but we're just trying to get to make it the better version on the market, to be honest. So we got a we got a few things going on with that but that's that's something you'll see just pop up one day hey everyone thanks again for watching this episode of tech tuesday if you liked it please leave a like down below if you have any questions concerning aces efi or efi in general please leave a comment down below with any question that you have if you see any uh, tech tuesday media anywhere else on social media feel free to send it some love um but yeah i I don't have anything else. You have anything else? I've got nothing else. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your uh, New Year celebrations um, and uh, have a wonderful beginning of 2024. We look forward to all the Tech Tuesday content to come, and we will see all of you in the next video. Bye now. <laughs>